I decided that last week, three days prior to the unfortunate incident that's occurring in California, to ask at least 250,000 citizens that wear concealed weapons to take action if they are ever in a situation with large crowds and shooters are trying to kill, kill innocent people. My goal of utilizing 250,000 citizens armed with concealed weapons is to stop the carnage, stop the killing before cops arrive. That was the sheriff of Arizona's Maricopa County, Joe Arpaio, today reiterating his call for citizen gun owners to act against mass shooters. We should note that Sheriff Arpaio's call to arms is directly opposed by the chief deputy of an adjacent county, Steve Henry, from Penal County, who says, we don't want to walk into a gunfight between anybody, much less a gunfight where people are untrained. Chief Henry also warned that having gun-toting citizens firing at suspected shooters could endanger innocent bystanders. An especially relevant piece of advice is our Pio specifically urged concealed carriers to fire their weapons in situations with, quote, large crowd. Today, Senator Ted Cruz campaigned at a gun rage in Iowa, an event that had been scheduled before the San Bernardino shooting. Cruz announced his campaign and signed up 24,000 supporters for a so-called Second Amendment coalition and blasted efforts in Washington to reform gun laws. Liberal Democrats think it is insensitive to celebrate our constitutional rights in the wake of a terrorist attack. It is these constitutional rights that keep us safe. You don't stop bad guys. By taking away our guns, you stop bad guys by using our guns. I was wondering what you would say to President Obama now that we have had a terrorist attack right here in our country, in California. It and was I, a terrorist attack. It was. It was so a terrorist how attack. How would you handle that? Oh, I would handle it so tough. You have no idea. You don't want to hear. You don't even want to hear. You don't want to hear how I'd handle it. I will get myself in so much trouble with them. We are going to handle it so tough. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to get it stopped. Check one. Because we can't allow this to happen to our country. We're going to get it stopped. And by the way, and by the way, by the way, if the people in Paris or the people in California, if you had a couple of folks in there with guns, and that knew how to use them, and they were in that room, you wouldn't have dead people. The dead people would be the other guys.